If you're dealing with some power seat issues in your older Mercedes-Benz, I just want to share with you a little tip. This has to do with even trying to get the seat out of the car, or here you can see I have this U seat on the bench here, and I'm trying to get it off the seat, and I cannot get to the fasteners. The, the screws for the front of the tracks are located right down here where I can't even see them. So this is what you're going to need if you're going to do this. You're going to need some sort of a 12 volt power supply. You can use a battery and some jumper leads. You can use a power probe if you have one or you can use a booster pack and I've hooked up a wiring plug to it so I can, I can power the seat. And what you, what you'll have to do if the seat's in the car, of course, is you're going to have to get down underneath there, try to get to these plugs, poke around until you find uh, the right pair of plugs that will power the seat back and forth. Now on the 201 chassis, you also have to power the back lower part of the seat all the way up, but you can't get to the rear bolts. So if your seat won't power, you're going to have a very difficult time getting it out of the car. And, and once it's out of the car, if you, can't, if you don't know how to power it with a 12 volt power source back and forth, you won't be able to get the tracks off the seat. In this case, I'm going to be putting these good tracks on some seats in my 190E here where the track, some of the track mechanisms are giving me trouble. So the second part of this tip is I'm just going to encourage you, if you're having these problems, you know, plan to repair them with used parts. There's plenty of these track assemblies out there. And what I'm going to do in this car is I'm just going to replace the entire power seat track assembly. I'm not going to go in and try to fix the individual components here. So if you're having real problems and can't, can't figure this out, what I'm doing is I'm doing a complete video manual. I'm going to film the entire process of going through uh, this 190E here and making both seats work perfectly. I love power seats, but I don't like them so much when they're not working, particularly when they're not going back and forth. But even if they're not tilting, it can be a little bit of a frustration, as many of you know. So if you'd like the full video instruction on how to do this, it's a really lengthy video because it goes through the whole theory, each of the mechanisms, what the motors do, what the cables do, and how to get it out of a car that you're having problems with. And we go through the wiring diagram and which wires to power when you want to do certain functions. So if you need that information, be sure and check it out on my website. You can just go to the link below in the description of this video and it will take you right to that video manual.